Welcome to another episode of Ladies Talking Business, a business lifestyle show where we break down the concept of business to its simplest form. I am Marami Akonwo. On today's episode, we will be discussing sustainable living and circular economy through Africa's indigenous craft, Adere, with our guest, Doi Mola Ola Joy. She is a beauty queen, the winner 13th Miss Ekimogun Beauty Pageant, first runner-up Heritage Beauty Pageant, semi-finalist Creative Business Cup Lagos 2021 held at EDC Lagos Business School. She is a humanitarian on the 25 founder and creative director, Donny Adire and Crafts Nigeria. She attended St. Louis Secondary School Undo and also had her tertiary education completed at Adekunle Ajashin University as a computer scientist. As an advocate of recycling through African arts and culture, Doimola's dream is to see a world that embraces African adire while curbing the harm throwing out old clothes can cause to humans. She was a nominee at the prestigious ACE Awards for African Creative Entrepreneurs in 2021 as Startup of the Year, winner in the fashion category of the SME 100 Africa 25 on the 25 Award 2021, recognized and nominated for Eloy Award Young Entrepreneur of the Year 2021, and also the winner of the God Chamber Business Bootcamp Pitch Competition and beneficiary of the grant awarded. Earlier in 2022, Donny Adire and Crafts Nigeria, founded by Doimola, won the EEFP grant, a flagship project of the Nigerian Export Promotion Council, awarded to exceptional and impact-driven brands through Bella Africana, a 360-degree community for creative entrepreneurs. Now, that's quite a bio for the young lady sitting beside me. <laughs> Happy to have you on the show today, Doreen. Thank you so much for having me. And um, congratulations Thank on you. winning the pageant. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so let's talk about Adire and Yoruba culture. Can you give us a bit of a background? Okay, yes, Adire was started in the 1960s okay. by lead chief Mrs. Minia Jujolola. She literally started in a compound in Ogun State, precisely Abel Kuta, and it was passed down from generation to generation. So it was a family business. That was how Adire started. They used to use um, a particular clothing that is cutting, it's called Tero. Right, and then the kind of dye that used to be used at the time was um, made out of uh, indigo ferra, which is a leaf. You know, it's indigo color, just like what you're wearing currently. And what I'm also wearing, it's a dark shaded blue. So that leaf is dyed for a time frame, and then from um, the the extraction that the um, you know leaf brings out is what is used to dye the exactly. fabric that has been tied or you know just designed that's it basically and that's what has become uh our uh, uh, today's yeah. contemporary fashion mm -hmm. so but is it still widely used in nigeria yes i know at some point that um it was not being used it wasn't being embraced like we had this notion or people had this notion that it was for olden days, um, mm. you know, dancers. It was just used for props for people who are drummers or maids mm. and all of that. But the idea of then is no longer the idea of today because it is, it can now be colorful. It's not just white and indigo. indigo. It's I not just tie and then. dye. It's mm. not just, you know, um, cassava paste designs and all that, that is just, you know, many times one color, but today, you know, it's now contemporary, it can now be vibrant and all of that. And then people have begun to embrace. I mean, even outside Nigeria, people also appreciate it and in Nigeria as well. So what's the trick to ensuring, I know back in school, then, you know when you're in school and they, you guys have to do practical and yeah. all those things, you used to do this idea, but the fabric will still wash. Okay. I know maybe it's a dye thing. So what's the trick in getting a fantastic result in such a way that your fabric um, 
the dye isn't coming off from the fabric. Okay, so this is one as an adirect trainer. This is one thing I usually ensure that I teach, you know, my trainees. I tell them there are five steps. I don't think I want to go through it you all. You can just touch on briefly. Okay, touch on it all. Okay, so that. there's there's a place of having quality textile. You cannot work on polyester or chiffon and expect that it will give you the result that actual cutting will give you. Will give you. I'm currently wearing a cutting clothing. It was done with guinea brocade. If I did not use guinea brocade, then it wouldn't give me this result that you're seeing right here. Right. So there's a place of quality textile. There's also the place of using enough you know, chemicals and dye. So we have hydrosulfite and caustic soda, which are, you know, the chemicals that we use. And if one does not have enough, it's just best to actually purchase more than manage what you have. So you may want to dye maybe a 10 yards fabric and you're using something really little. If that occurs, then you won't bring out the so work the right nicely, the right amount, and you're not using too much of a particular chemical because it's just, you know, it, it's based on calculation. So if you're an adira maker, you need to be intentional about what calculations and all that. Another thing is that producing takes a lot of water. You cannot afford to not have water when you're making adira. It's better you just, you know, pause your production than go ahead and produce because you usually need to like rinse and rinse and rinse till, till all the excess dye that comes of it. Remember I said the cotton must have been sorted then the quality textile and um, the quality chemicals and you know dye then you have to now rinse like a lot so that when it gets to the end user the person is not having to like wash and wash and wash so sometimes that's that's like what happens then I personally wash as well with detergent Many people may be against it, but it helps me, you know, take out the excess dye even faster because I know that I must have used quality dye and all that. So I don't have a problem, you know, washing it with detergent as well. Okay, so it means so we're doing something things. wrong back in primary or secondary school. <laughs> yes. We still see the dye, <laughs> the dye um, coming off. Okay, so... Um I know you're an advocate for recycling, mm -hmm. um, which is um, like I read earlier, you're trying to use Adire and all that. Let's talk about your passion for recycling. What fueled that passion? Now, um, so I'll say CBC, Creative Business Corp, really helped me, you know, um, know how to better articulate my business. So at the time I joined, yes, I had a business plan put together from you know, the business schools I had earlier attended, but I was just maybe focused on the financials or, you know, how to get things right, customer relationship and inventories and all that. But then um, I know climate action, everything that has to do with climate change, sustainability just started to sprout out in like the last years. So I got interested when I went to, you know, CBC, the business, um, you know, school. It was only for about a few days, but I was able to make research. You know, it, it opened me up to how I, I can start to like embrace sustainability through Adira. So I would say that, you know, the, the learnings that I had and then the research I also made helped me, you know, know that I could use this as a way of also helping, you know, our climate be sustainable. Interesting. We will discuss more about this shortly. Okay. We will be back for more conversations with our guests after the break. I'm still here with Doimola Olajoye, a reigning beauty queen as the winner Miss Ekimogun Beauty Pageant and founder Donny Adere and Crafts Nigeria. Okay, so let's talk about recycling. Okay. Um, not just Adire, recycling generally. So what are some of the benefits um, it has on the economy? Okay, now when we recycle, I made a research, um, I think about a year ago, and I know that the fashion of today is, people are mostly open to fast fashion. Fast fashion is you wear you know, you buy, you wear, you're looking for the next outfit to actually buy, mm. you know, you can't, you, you can't recycle what you're even buying. So it's only for the short term, whatever you're buying, whatever fashion item you're buying is for the short term, which is like fast fashion. But when it is slow fashion, which recycle, you know, speaks about, you're able to buy it 
Okay. You're able to curb textile waste that comes from because it take tons, it take tons and tons of of water and resources, even human resources as well, to do the clothes that are fast fashion related. Okay. But then when they are cutting, they take time as well, but they are sustainable. They are durable in terms of use. Right. So if we have to do slow fashion and one can just, you know, use our natural resources, our resources right here, it helps your economy that way. Okay. Okay. So talking about um, producing the adire and all that, what's the best fabric? The best fabric to use is cotton. It's cotton. Cotton fabric. Now, cotton is not limited. Latin. Cotton is not limited to, you know, it, how do I explain this now? So I'm currently wearing cotton brocade fabric. So we have different kinds of cotton. cotton. We can have a mix of chiffon and cotton. We can have a mix of, you know, polyester and cotton. Have a mix of crepe and cotton. There are actually several kinds of fabric. We have denim as well. But what is just very vital is that these fabrics have a large percentage of cotton in them. Okay. So they are able to be used for our indigenous craft adire that way okay great great so how can we promote how can we promote sustainable living in africa using adire recycle your clothes those clothes okay. in your wardrobe just okay call on donny and let's so get them in any revamped. colored clothes any color like, can be recycled using adire literally any clothes the moment it is cutting cutting. or it has a large percentage of cutting in it either black or purple or navy blue or red or pink or white whatever color it is really it can be revamped and the interesting thing is that some clothings they are old already some are faded some are stained mm -hmm. as opposed to just you know throwing those clothes on the ground and turning them to rags or using them as you know napkins or train them in the waste bin, which eventually lands in the landfills. Or in the ocean. <laughs> or in the ocean, right? These, these things, they don't even decompose. Cutting takes over 200 years to decompose. Wow. So as long as we're living, the cutting is still living, right? It's not disappearing anywhere. So it still remains and it causes harm to us. So why not just recycle? So those clothes in the wardrobe, they can be recycled. I mean, it does not even have to be somebody who takes recycling as a, a point of responsibility like Donny Adire does. But anyone who makes Adire can actually revamp clothing for, you know, people who are interested in recycling their old clothes. Okay, so what, for businesses that do that recycling, and what are you guys doing to promote or to make the world know that we can recycle most of our clothing because I didn't know that we could turn them to a new clothing, right? So, so I think you guys have a burden to make people. Do you know how many millions of people are in Nigeria? Yeah, and, and we need to do <laughs> even two percent of us probably don't know. Don't that know, we and I totally things. agree with you. I'll say that more textile designers should actually come out. So the interesting thing is that some people just start businesses. Some. Uh, people who make adire, they just want to do it for the crafts. Like, let me make money, you know, let me start a business. Maybe if, you know, you just see your friends selling clothes or learning a particular craft, you just see adire as another craft. Mm -hmm. Of course, it is another craft, but, you know, one can maximize it because it's curbing, it solves a number of SDGs, right? Mm -hmm. 12, 13, uh, there are things that adire can solve. So why just stick to the buying and selling part, making new clothes? Yes, it's sustainable, it's durable when you actually, you know, produce them rightly. But much more than that, we can actually take our old clothes and, you know, make something beautiful out of them. Absolutely interesting. Well, we will speak more about this shortly. Okay. We will go on a short break. Please stay with us. Thanks for staying with us on Ladies Talking Business. We have been having conversations with Doimola Olajoyi on sustainable living and circular economy through Africa's indigenous craft, Adire. So Doimola, we were speaking earlier and we were talking about the harm that some of our old clothes can cause on humans. Um, I just wanted us to talk a bit more about it. What sort of harm? What sort of harm? Um, now, of course, I'm not a health person, but 
one thing that happened in landfills it is okay so let me let me take it from our homes right because to be honest there would be no just like i usually say there would be no government if there's no people actually you know leading in that sphere so that's the same thing with circular economy using you know reducing waste and all of that when we fail to treat our clothing well when we fail to find ways to sort of reuse our or recycle our outfits they're landing in landfills landfills is first you throw it out in your waste bin maybe um you know waste management company or some persons just you know pick them up and they throw it in a particular place maybe in an environment in a local government mm -hmm. and then a bigger body a bigger organization comes to pick at the end of the day, it lands in a particular place. I know of one within, I know several within Lagos. One popular one is at Ojota. That's a landfill. Even, you know, the smell alone, oh, that's okay. even one thing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's one thing that, and it is gaseous. All of these things, because they don't de decompose, they actually emit some form of, you know, um, carbon oxide, right? So, and this is not good for us human so that's like i mean i've said two things already mm -hmm. but the, the the major thing is greenhouse gas greenhouse gases which is not good for humans okay okay so moving away from that a bit um so you're into the business of arts craft and all that mm -hmm. in your own opinion and from experience how can this beat boost the nigerian economy what can we do to you know what can we do Okay, um, so I have limited speech um, when it comes to this. Can I take that again? Oh, yeah, sure. Just okay. continue. Can you ask a question? Okay, I'll just ask you. <laughs> As someone into indigenous crafts, um, so how can we use it to boost the Nigerian economy? Okay, fantastic. So one amazing thing is that people even outside Nigeria, they're starting to embrace what we own. So there's a place of sensitization like you mentioned the other time we have a lot of work to do because only a fraction of the number of persons in nigeria even know about recycling taking it away from recycling adira in itself mm. right because it's our own craft it's something that we can do with our local resources and only get a, a little of the production materials from outside nigeria so the place of sensitizing people more getting them to wear our own handmade indigenous crafts, mm -hmm. as well as pushing it out to people even outside Nigeria as well. And the amazing thing is that people outside the God, outside the country, actually embrace oh, what embrace we it do, so yeah. right? So we can start to push, you know, more sensitization, more, you know, awareness on the amazingness of Adire, how durable it is, how long lasting it, it can be, you know, and just so how the, long lasting can it be? Now. Um, I was asked this particular question at a radio interview I had only about four weeks ago. And I was like, I don't even know because I've not made my research. And I can't say this when I've not actually made my research. But what, what I can say is that even those that I used Adire mm. in, say, I mean, I'm, I'm only a young lady. So I can't even say 100 years ago because I didn't get to see them. But even 60, 70 years ago, they're still good fabrics because it is cutting and they were properly produced yes they may be fading because they were not properly you know um, dyed rinsed and all of that but cutting lasts like i said it decomposes it takes over 200 years yes. to decompose so that's even why am i even saying i've not made my research that's something to also <laughs> that's something to also think about because it deco it does not disappear right so i'll say years and years and years one so with Adira, I think the quality of the dye also matters, aside the fabric. Yes, it does matter. Okay. It does matter. Okay, so before I let you go, seeing that you're a recycling you know, enthusiast, mm -hmm. how can we make recycling a big deal in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. Generally, now I'm not even talking about with Adira and... The yes, because you know, it's, the it's broad. Sustainable yes. living is broad, mm -hmm. environmental. There's a place of, you know, 
you know, not cutting a tree, rather planting a tree and all of those things. But I don't even, I'm not deep into that field. I'm more about, you know, recycling with Adira. But I'll just say sensitization. There's something, there's nothing sensitization cannot do. Imagine if you're having to hear, there's this, um, is it theory now, something I read that when you repeat the same thing up to seven times to the, you know, when people hear something, seven times and more it tends to stick with them and then they run with that so i'll just say that sensitization let even the government right let them start to push it in your in our hairs the business owners people who are also recycle recycling enthusiasts like myself we can you know push on every media tv you know social media and every media possible really. absolutely i agree with you well Thank you so much for joining us on the show Thanks today. Thanks for Dylan. having me. You're welcome. Yes. Thanks for watching this episode of Ladies Talking Business. Do join us the same time next week for another episode. Don't forget to follow us on Plus TV Africa Lifestyle on YouTube to catch up with our programs. I am Marami Akol. See you next week.